in a world. Four friends, one mission. Mikey, what are you doing? I'm doing the thing for the podcast. It's not that hard, bud. Dude, just say the name. Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Is it recording? It, it, it smells like sake. It smells like sake. It smells like barrel aged sake. Okay. Smell it. Open a, open a thing I've and smell it. I've been drinking it. Yeah, but it smells fair. different than it. Pull the cork out and just smell the bottle and tell me it doesn't just smell like sake. We've drank a lot of sake before. Yes. That smells like sake. Yes. But it smells like barrel aged sake. Right. It smells like sake. Aged three years. Whiskey single grain. It, it it's smells a, a like sake grain of rice that, or what? That's that's all I got. There is nothing else on this bottle. It, bar. like, it smells like sake that's been put code. in a whiskey barrel. I don't know. I just bought it because it was Fook whiskey. Fook, Wh- Fook what the whiskey. F- man? All right. Oh, it was killing the bottle. All right. I'm going to let this pass. You can't yell at me. And there's already stuff on the bottom. When are we recording? Take, or not? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, okay. I, I, I wend. <laughs> I, I wend. <laughs> <laughs> I wend in your cup. <laughs> All right, I'm pay for it. <laughs> Do you want? You gonna keep drinking your Fook whiskey? Uh, I'll drink some whiskey. It's Fook. It's Fook. F U K. I would not have bought it if it was Fook. This is <laughs> whiskey. See, but I want to know: is their single barrel in their hand selection called Fook Me and Fook You? I don't give a fook. <laughs> <laughs> you all can fook off about this whiskey bullshit. <laughs> I bet you if you drink enough of it, you could get fooked up. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is, does that whiskey fook? It doesn't quite have a mullet. So it doesn't quite fook. Eh, not quite. Yeah. It's not bad. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the what's the brown bag whiskey you got there? Oh, so that came from Mr. Matt Roberts. Got delivered to the show. Yay. Oh, it's a glorious bottle of horse well, kind of soldier. Turn me on I like bit. the way he opened that, <laughs> that too. Was, that was I'm gonna need that clip. That was <laughs> and then our uh Yeah, Jennifer. Our, yeah, our uh is that, door, door is that a watermelon chupa chup? Uh, I think it is. Yoink. Oh, yeah, it's yep. my watermelon chupa chup now. That's you know, like what's I don't know if this is gonna make me order more or not. But getting two lollipops and two her? starbursts, like how is she gonna deliver my stuff every time? Do I, can I request Jennifer? Is that like a thing? Uh, mm. Guys, that's so good. I don't know. Maybe I need to order more booze and have it. It goes extremely <laughs> well with my. It goes extremely well with my Connecticut chin. Yeah. There's two completely <laughs> opposite types of people on this show right now. There's one that'll suck the fucking golf ball through a garden hose, and the other one just chomps the shit out of it. <laughs> Look, there's marathons and there's sprinters. There's there's. there's <laughs> I'm just saying. You're just jealous because I'm better at it. (laughs) So it all comes down to peaches. (laughs) Well, anyway, thanks, Jennifer. (laughs) Yeah. uh, (laughs) Matt. Oh, uh, Matt for the whiskey. Matt got the whiskey. But Jennifer, thank you for the, not that you have any fucking idea. And and the cute cute little... The yep. cute little laundry. The nipple clamps. Yeah. We also got a, a <laughs> gift from uh, another oh, one yeah. of our listeners. What is that horrendous thing? It's 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 a dick with a six pack and a butt. And, yeah, and it has a butt. I guess that dick um, is better than me in every way. <laughs> <laughs> but it came with a bottle of uh, Jameson uh, Stout, and that came from our good friend uh, Reed Manicore Lounge out of Laredo, Texas. Um. And to uh, follow on with that plug, I believe is, it's Mission, uh, Texas. Yeah, excuse me, you are correct. That yeah. is Mission, um, Mission, Texas. Same uh, border town. Well, you know. they're a little ways away from each other. Well, they're still both border towns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that leads me into our sponsors for this show. Uh, it's brought to you by WarfighterTobacco.com. Use that code FTFO to score yourself that sweet fifteen percent off. Oh, well, in the US, use the code Freedom Friends 25, score yourself a quarter off your order, and Icy Tech Coolers for those who get it. Huh? 
<laughs> yeah. Use that code Freedom Friends 10. Uh, two and a half even, hookers. Yep. Yeah, get that big ass cooler, hide two and a half hookers in it. Um, and, I don't actually uh, care which half of the hooker. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can do an arm and a leg for all I care. Um, <laughs> Left side or right side? There right? you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I mean, top and bust to like top and bottom is just, yeah. No. Right side, left side, you get a little bit of both. So it's fine. Right, right side, left side. You've got yeah, exactly. You get options. Yeah. You go top or bottom. That is like the missionary of keeping half a hooker. I suppose you, you can't really do much. Right. It's just a. All right, right. I got one thing going here. That's it. You go left side, right side though. You, you can do a lot with. There's that. options. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, my mind is wandering, and it's not pleasant. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, our good friends over at GrowYourAssOff.com, uh, either there's two ways to do this. Go to GrowYourAssOff.com slash Freedom Friends Podcast, or use a discount code Freedom Friends or Freedom Friends Podcast or FTFO, or just email James at GrowYourAssOff.com, and he will tell you the proper way to do this, uh, or just click on the link. You know what, fuck it, for our Patreon sub- subscribers, if you're a Patreon supporter, yeah, I'm going to give you James's cell phone number. Ooh. Do you still have his card? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, check out Gurdy Your Ass Off for all the lovely spices and seasonings to put on all your meats. Uh, they make jerky, too, which I've been selling in my place. Jerky and, and donkey uh, dongs. I had to order it three times in the first week. The, just the jerky? Just the jerky. Nice. nice. Yeah. So they do pickles, they do um donkey balls, donkey balls, habanero stuffed olives. Ooh. They're fucking phenomenal. They are good. Uh but yeah, go check them out. What's, the, uh, what's the pickles and jalapenos called? Because those are my favorite. Uh I don't know. But they're delicious. Wanna, aren't those one of the donkey dongs or donkey Yeah, they're balls? the donkey dongs. No, the, oh yeah, the spicy donkey dongs is the uh the large ones. There. Well, any donkey dong to me is spicy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> good point, sir. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah. you yeah. make a valid point there. It really is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we got this debate, but Jazz just went to go pee. Yeah, I oh, fuck him. So we'll just hang out for a little bit. But we're kind of, I mean, we're sitting across from each other. We yeah. both got sticks in our hands and drinks on the table. It's true. And I'm just going to say we're about to fucking masturbate. Uh, I think Jazz is getting ready. Um, he just I got get done. round one out of the way. Yeah, get round one. He didn't want to disappoint anybody. <laughs> You got to get that wild card. You got to release way, a single man. before you, you, you put the album out. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah, let's <laughs> fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you could go back in time and change one piece of history, what would it be? Mm. Starting this fucking show. <laughs> Not gonna. That's you you would have done it sooner, or what? Not going to disagree. I, I just would have. Yeah. As soon as I've been like, there's nobody boring pants, I'd have been like, I'm not going. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, that wasn't the start of the show. That was meeting me. So you don't want to meet me. Which in turn turned into this fucking oh, shit. That was show. down the road. <laughs> <laughs> one piece of history that we could fucking one, change. Yeah, one his- historical event. Mm. If you could change it, what would it be? <sighs> and I'm assuming we major history, right? Not like piece of personal history because we all have yeah, that yeah, moment yeah. that we're like yeah, no, no. if i'd have made this decision instead of that decision no you gotta let your curiosity point. wander like what would happen if kennedy wasn't killed that was my go-to you know, and then i was like you know that's too easy yeah, yeah but uh, yeah that's why i threw it out there as a waste but i did see a meme the other day and i think i might have shared it with everyone i i gotta send it out to the group because it's just fucking phenomenal because it pretty much was like uh it, it showed the pictures of when Ke- kennedy got assassinated um it, it was bad it's history it's called history from a brand new angle and yeah it shows jackie kennedy climbing out of the convertible and then it shows the the meme sigh zip <laughs> still think it gets the award for the best roadhead in history <laughs> You know, but like what like what if you go back and like somebody's fucking smoked Hitler when he was a fucking kid? Right. You know, or You don't um, even have to do that. You just have to like make sure he gets into art school. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to kill the fucker. It's just so he gets into art school. 
He'd just be an early Kanye. Right? Yeah, just still hating on people. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> uh, yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. I actually I highly recommend. Jazz is really going to town on this lollipop right now. What are you doing? I'm going to spice up this? my fucking Jameson. You're going to throw a lemon? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay, now we're doing it on purpose. Now we're really just pissing off the whiskey community. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, make sure they can, make sure they can hear the ice. Yeah. Hold on. We got to. You hear the ice in that? I just threw and, a fucking I, starburst in my jeans. And I just, I've been dipping my watermelon chupa chupa in it. So. <laughs> um, one thing you could change in history. That would affect the whole world. A lot. The whole like world. Like that would drastically change the society we live in today. Like what if Genghis Khan was a pacifist? I'm going to say Saddam Hussein agrees to let weapons inspectors in. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that could do uh, it. Right. That would change a little bit. Yeah. I was going to say replace the Colt 1911 with anything made by Glock. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> We're trying to change it for the better here. <laughs> oh man! I just want to know what the obsession looks like now. With, with the Glock or 1911? It'd be 1911 perfection, and yeah, no, I'm just saying that. <laughs> and Glock would be a metal frame. <laughs> yeah, so it's not the 1911 anymore. Now it's it's something made by Glock, and because it's. There's just such hardcore fanboydom. It's like, this hmm. pistol's so fucking good. I'm like, that pistol's 120 years old. Like, they are good. Sure. <laughs> huh. Fuck, there's like so much. We, you can have more than one. No, I know, but I'm just trying to think of like spitball. A good one. Like a really good one. Not just like, oh, that would be fucking cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, like, I got it. Twitter never gets made. Well, then we wouldn't have the fiasco with Elon. Like, I thoroughly enjoy yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, There's a too. million fiascos that wouldn't fucking have ever happened if there was no Twitter. Yeah, but Elon buying Twitter for, for whatever, $46 billion or whatever the fuck it was. To solidify the freedom of speech. Well, at least that's his guys why he did it. I haven't seen any change other than he fired like 40% of the people that didn't actually Nothing need to changed. fucking be there. And Twitter right, still on. looks exactly like fucking Twitter. Like mm -hmm. in 2002, a meteorite hits Washington, D.C. Why 2002? Because it was right before 2003. And before the invasion of Iraq. Uh, the yeah, but 01 still would have happened. Yeah. Yeah, but Afghanistan still would have happened. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, but but maybe Iraq I'll, would not have happened. Maybe I'll back mm -hmm. it up. Now, if you just said like 99. 90. Fuck it. Ooh. I think, well, you saw how everybody came together when the 9-11 uh, went down. That's the thing is I still want the patriotism yes. for post 9-11. Yeah, 9-12. Yeah. So I think a meteorite. Maybe 9-13. No. <laughs> <laughs> just really soak it in for 24 hours. Right. And then meteor, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, let's really bring everyone together. <laughs> hmm. Well, then you got that like, whole butterfly effect shit. Like, like what would happen if you changed, if the Crusades never happened? Well, we'd all be Muslim. How good are you at saying Aloha snack bar? But like. I, I mean, honestly, if you look at history, that's what happens. No, I know, but if but, nobody gets in front of that and, and either side, I don't give a shit which which side you're a fan of, whether it was a Christian crusade or a Muslim crusade. Yeah. If one side doesn't get in front of the other, you were talking about the obliteration well, of if the Christian crusades didn't happen, I think the Vikings would have had more time to I don't know. I like your heads out here. I'm here with you on this one. So because, because there's major turning points that happened because the Vikings got involved. Yeah. So they didn't have the kingdom size to mm -hmm. put a crusade together. So you can't have the response of these territorial takeovers. Yep. 
But when you look at like, so the city of Budapest that we know now is actually two cities. It's the city of Buda, mm-hmm. Buda, and Piest. And they were separated by a river. And they were at a war and they brought in Viking mercenaries in order to settle that. Mm-hmm. We know the Vikings were touring the Mediterranean. They were in all of these countries. Had they been allowed to proliferate, it stops. Oh, fucking yes. Uh, it stops essentially both of the Crusades. Right. Which in turn leads to the lack of political power takeover by either one of these religions in major territories. Mm -hmm. Because the Crusades ultimately ended with a, okay, we own this and you own that. Like every treaty ends up happening where it's like, you can have this part and we'll take this part and we're going to call it good. Viking involvement in the Crusades, if you give them enough time to get in the way, you end up with none of that split. And you probably end up with less totalitarian religious-based governments that are able to crop up. Huge shift in history. Yeah, that would change a lot. Because Viking-based politics actually aren't based on religion. Yeah. Hmm. What else? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Yeah. Change history. What if the dinosaurs never died? I was just Ooh. thinking that. Like, what well, we have we, movies about that. What if? What if we were able to tame them? Fuck! I just want to hunt them. <laughs> like, imagine if I get eight thousand pounds of meat. <laughs> like, I'm set. That's it. I like the I taming hunt concept, anymore. though. <laughs> like, what does tank warfare look like if you don't need a tank because you have like an ankylosaurus? Oh, yeah, I have a fucking Tyrannosaurus no, Rex that I'm riding. You yeah. need a tank to fight the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah i wonder but, what hunting them would look like like do you think there would be a major shift in like weaponry yeah i'd be running a fucking 155 I was gonna instead say, of a 65 how yeah. your, <laughs> how's your howitzer game yeah. like, a- there wouldn't be a limit on a f- you know nothing bigger than a 50 cal can be privately owned that's true yeah. what's the bag limit on dinosaurs yes as, as long as you well, stay alive. It, it depends on like, you know, they probably do it like deer control. You know, you got to. <laughs> We've got way too many triceratops yeah. going Imagine on in this sitting territory. in your house and being like, oh, fuck, there's a T-Rex in the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, and it's not like, oh, look at that cute little dog. Like, it's a doe. It's a white tail. Oh, they're so fun. Like, let's feed Stop them. feeding the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> they're spreading corn around. <laughs> it's just, it's the fucking road signs, but instead of like the deer, it's just a fucking triceratops. <laughs> triceratops. What coffee. does air traffic control look like when you have Ooh. flying dinosaurs? And Dude, it's the, like, the military would are they going to call the FAA and be like, by the way, my migratory pattern means that I got to bring this fucking through here. <laughs> Bird strike and hit me. <laughs> <laughs> like the military- All those black boxes, the last recording is just fuck. <laughs> just- the military wouldn't use Belgians anymore. They'd use fucking Velociraptors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to release the dinosaur, but like, I'm fucking, I'm good. I swear I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> Do you have anything in the car we need to know about? Because if not, I'm going to get Bubba from the car. Hey, John, I need you to put the bite suit on. (laughs) God damn it. I just recovered. (laughs) Oh, what if the war on drugs was never started? Yeah. Just, there was just never, nothing was ever made. So now we're only talking 80s forward. That's still a good chunk of time. I mean, we can go back. Like, oh, here, I got it. Marijuana is never made Schedule C. Okay. I don't know how much it would change. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't be in jail. Uh, okay. That would so, be... But let's follow that path, right? Yeah. So it's never made Schedule C. Or let's so, say when they no, debate no. on does it so, go Schedule C or do we just I think fucking you, I, legalize it? I think you have to look back and see why it was put on a Schedule C. And that was because the hippies were against Vietnam. So the government said, if, it was, we, it, if we ban their drugs, we're going to break up these groups. A hundred percent. That was a, and it gives us a reason yeah. to arrest all of these people that yeah. are against the war. Yeah. But what if you don't, what if you just legalize it to where now it's not this culture thing of like, I'm in this, I'm in this outlier rebellion. And now your average fucking short sleeve IBM 
Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good actually. The short sleeve, the short sleeve IBM consultant is now going home and baking at night instead of drinking bourbon or whatever. Right. You know how more how much more creative the world would have been if they legalized weed. We never would have had that you know what? era that. of yeah. just shit looking cars. <laughs> okay, in all fairness, shit looking cars didn't come along till like the early eighties. We were solid no, 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 through no, no, the seventies. No. Yeah, but they the color yeah. choices, color palette, like yeah. baby shit green. Right. Like, come on, Ford. Yeah. Or that that sun bleached brown. The, the butter, yeah. butter yellow. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting away from that. You've been to a Harley dealership lately? You're right. Yeah, all those colors are coming back. It's there is gross. a, literally one of their limited colors is a blend of, it is Laffy Taffy Banana Yellow yeah. and Black. Yeah. No. That's one of the limited colors. Mm-mm. Like, what if Henry Ford didn't create a fucking Model A in an assembly line? You mean the T? Or just Model T, sorry. What you really mean is the assembly line. Because he didn't invent line. the car. Yeah. He just, so he didn't do the assembly line. Honestly, I think the Germans beat him to it. Yeah. I mean, the Germans are all about efficiency models, right? <laughs> if you could be one thing. Be efficient. <laughs> so if he doesn't do it, the Germans do it. So it's the same thing, but it's angry. So not only can you get it in any color you want, as long as it's black, <laughs> but they have black and blacker than black. <laughs> With a black interior. With a black interior. And, and, and hints of chrome. But it's blackened chrome. Like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. just shiny black. Yeah. It's just shiny black. It's shiny you black have matte black, black and black. shiny <laughs> black. And that's it. Yeah. But. I'm not going to lie. Well, so I, like, what, like, what is one thing, one thing that would change the course of the entire fucking world? Like one item? Like like one decision. Oh. We don't forget indoor plumbing from the Romans. Because <laughs> the Romans like, had it. The Romans had indoor plumbing. You could shit in your place and it left. So yeah, it, it wasn't in far. your place anymore. <laughs> but it left. They had, they had indoor plumbing. They had, they had, they had, uh, the aqueduct system that moved That's water true. from point A to point yeah, B. Uphill. And then somehow they had this whole empire and there was like, fuck an empire. And they overthrew it and they were like, cool, now we're just going to shit in a bucket. It like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to build And I'm going to have to go out to this barrel, which we kept doing no, until I, like the 50s. I know. Fuck the 50s. I shit in a bucket in 2003. See? That's my point. So like, these, these yes, people. I am on board with you on so this. So they were moving this is water. a major thing. They were moving water from point A to point B. They were able to get shit out of the way. And then Literally. also they, they had the original golden corral. Like you could go and you just eat and then you vomited out and, and, and then you came back and you ate some more. It like they were they were like 2,500 years ahead of the fucking power curve. So we overthrew this fucking government and they were like, you know what we got now? Shit in a bucket in the plague. It, like, we're <laughs> like, fucking upgrading. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking great. And they were fucking, they were drug users. They fucking had controlled opiates. They had an outstanding wine system. They're like, all this shit. And yeah. then we were like, yeah, but when was the last time you talked to a tree? Like, that's what we decided <laughs> that, like, right? like we okay. need to get rid of these fucking people. So we overthrew fucking everything. <laughs> and then we go to, like... Why are you king? Because God said so. And, and like, even the even the Romans were like, that's not how this works. That's not how this works, man. <laughs> like, we had an elected government and the whole time. We got the Caesar dude, but he just got a lot of nice shit. Nobody listens to him anyways. And we killed the last three. So okay. like, fuck it. So, like, in order to stop all this, we take care of Brutus. Mm-mm. Why not? You need Brutus because you need the political upset. Brutus killing Caesar. Yeah. Didn't actually cause the upset. What you end up with is like the Germanic tribes yeah. and all of these ones that that weren't willing to essentially go like, but I like eating mushrooms and shit in the forest. It like, There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but most of the Romans weren't like, we're not saying that you can't eat mushrooms and shit in the forest. We're just saying. But do you think if you kind of have to support the fact that we're going to make roads and like people are going to speak one language. But and, do you think if Caesar continued his reign? Which Caesar? The one that fucking died. <laughs> that didn't narrow it down. The the one that fucking Brutus Augustus. killed. Yes. Okay. If, if that didn't happen, do you think everything would have played out the same? You didn't have the fall of the Roman Empire because of 
killing a ghost. You didn't, but there was a lot of changes that happened after that. But they put a new Im- imperator into yeah, yeah. position. They did. There just wasn't a Caesar. But they, but they realized that it was uh, not weak, so but let's expendable for lack of better words. Let's look at the Roman Imperium and what we got: mm-hmm. organized roads, yeah. organized schools, mm-hmm. a elected government that could be reset at any time. By the way, that's how their government was set up. You could reset it whenever the fuck you wanted to. Legalized prostitution, regardless of what flavor you liked. Bless their hearts. Male, female, whatever it was, it was all fucking legal. Now you had to go to a house that was regulated. That's where the term meritrix actually is originated. That's a do you originated? Have mer- originated. <laughs> speaking in cursive. <laughs> so you have meritrix and the meritor. Those are male and female prostitutes. Completely legal. Matter of fact, they had like the fucking big, the the fucking value menu thing. You go and you just pointed a picture and be like, "I want that." <laughs> number two, please. Yeah, can I get a number two with a side of guys? And they would fucking, <laughs> they would just make that shit happen. Like that was a thing. They had uh, running water, indoor plumbing. It, like, so, so we take away the fall of the Roman Empire. Take away the fall of the Roman Empire and tell me that the quality of life doesn't fucking skyrocket. Okay. Throughout history. Where would we be now? Where would we be now if 2,500 years ago, they already had shit that in like so it, the 20s and 30s, we were like, wait. Essentially. Everything- so if I piss in this bucket and I push the handle, <laughs> the bucket disappears. It's like, this isn't new. They were doing this shit fucking two millennia ago. It's essentially, everything you're saying right now is everything that every group is fighting for the government to legalize well shit it already existed in the greatest empire known to man exactly so we're we're essentially going full circle we back are to trying the Roman to regress 2500 years so our this this woke culture thing yeah i want to fuck a dude i want to fuck a chick i want to be a dude that fucks a chick i want to be a chick that fucks a dude da 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 it was happening fucking 3000 years ago and now we're just coming back to it essentially we want to roll the clock back 3,000 years so that maybe we can start from where we already fucking were. Okay. Because that's how fucking narrow-minded we are. We're that fucking lost in the sauce now that we're like, this is new. And it's like, no, it's not. It's not even fucking close to new. Our entire government, our whole government from the United States, which everybody, that we are the model for freedom. Yeah. We are what everybody aspires to be. We modeled everything off of the Roman Imperium. The reason that our capital is in the middle of a swamp, but between two rivers has to do with the fact that the Roman Imperium, that's where fucking Rome was. Look at all the architecture in DC, giant Roman columns, huge shrines to those that were great before us that came all of it. It's all fucking borrowed. We're not doing anything fucking original. We looked at a really good fucking plan that they fucked up 2000 years ago. And we're like, (laughs) Okay, okay but if work. we just do this, <laughs> what did the Romans have? An outstanding standing military. What has the U.S. focused on for the last 250 years? An outstanding standing military. Yeah, you, know, the you know what the uh, there's been an ebb and flow. It's gone up and down. We've been better and worse over the years, but for the most part, we're still as good as it fucking gets. Did Rome? And, did Rome have a Second Amendment? Actually, yes. Yeah, they did. And it's because any Roman citizen should have been able to be called upon to defend yeah. the Imperium at any it, point it, in time and be able to defend it efficiently. It, it was worded differently. It wasn't worded against their own government. Right. It was worded to defend their government. Right. So that's about the, well, I wouldn't say the only difference, but that's one of the major differences. <laughs> right. But we were born out of overthrowing a totalitarian government. Yeah. So and that so, was the difference. The yeah. Imperium was, was the Roman Imperi- Empire was born out of, we are the best there is. Yeah. So now we need to defend the best there is. And honestly, what it, it got too big, too fast yeah. to be able to maintain. So follow on on the debate, and I know the answer to this already, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um, since the uh, shooting in Tennessee, Biden has been calling on an assault weapons ban. Well, I thought he was asking for ice cream. 
Well, he did that too. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't and sunglasses. Think he, and sunglasses. He had no idea where he was when he was asking for those. But then his handler put on Twitter that he wants to call for an assault weapons ban. Um, so I don't know if he knows that this is, you know, something he put out or not. Um, Do but you they know, put that out. I'm going to say it's not because then when they did the congressional review of the ban, yeah. he didn't show up. No. They sent somebody but, and that congressman was like, define an assault weapon. So th there's two parts to this question. One of them is he's calling for an assault weapons ban, which uh, whatever. Def again, define an assault weapon. Whatever. Yeah. Like you're calling for the ban. But the second one was the shooting happened and it happened by a trans person. And a few days after the shooting, uh, the White House and President Biden put out a bunch of tweets and public statements saying that the trans community is now under siege and that they need to be protected. Um, and essentially, they need to be elevated to a higher class of, of citizens compared to everybody else. Yeah, but they tried to protect themselves. Well, you know what happened weapon. after this shooting is that I wanted to go out and harm other trans well, people so here you know here here's my yeah, that was my first response yeah, that was my was, first response too. here's trans here's, people are dangerous yeah, yeah. that was my first yeah here's it a, wasn't though here's my, my first response on, was this mentally disturbed on, person right. that thought assaulting kids that had hold nothing on. to do with them being bullied in high school why are you guys gonna pick on trans people right now i'm not i'm picking <laughs> on the, I'm, I'm not i am picking on the mentally disturbed motherfucker yeah, yeah, that yeah. assaulted children but, but let me let me break it down so everybody can understand how the, all this works real quick Right. So there's a few bad apples, right? Because there's been a handful of shootings, mass shootings that have happened by trans people mm -hmm. in, in the past 24 months, right? Maybe 36 months. I'll, I'll give You're it that. The phrase you were looking for, there's been a handful of mass shootings assaulted by people. No, 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 no. No. Because uh, it no, doesn't matter. No, no, no. It's because I'm going to say trans people because this plays into all the political bullshit that they're trying to spew right now, right? So there's a, a handful of shootings by trans people, and they're doing this whole thing where trans people need to be respected and 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 all this stuff and put above everybody else in society. But this happened a couple of years ago, but it happened to cops. Yeah, there's a few bad apples with cops, right? And cops got a whole fucking bad name about it. But nobody in the government stepped up to be like, hey, look, those guys are fucking pieces of shit. But the rest of the people yeah. are good fucking people. But now all of a sudden, because there's a political agenda, that these few bad apples that did similar things, they murdered fucking people. Now okay. all of a sudden they're like, oh, no, 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 no. The rest of the people so, you need to respect and, and treat accordingly. I love your argument. And I'm going to go back to the advancement of Roman culture. Perfect. So you have a murderer, mm -hmm. somebody that is fucked up, made decisions, whatever. I'm not going to put any other things on that. You assault fucking children. You're fucked up. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you want, what title you want to put agree. in front of it. You went and fought children. Yeah. You're a fucked up individual. We don't kill you in the act. Yep. We capture you. Yeah. And then we have a big fucking coliseum where we go, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put 60,000 motherfuckers in the stands and we're going to sell pay-per-view <laughs> and we're going to put you out there with a lion and you're going to get a stick <laughs> because you brought a weapon. I'm not going to put the A word on it. I'm yep. just going to say fucking weapon. You better, yeah. Don't give a fuck what it was. You could have brought a fucking 14 inch black dildo. I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. You assaulted children. You are a grown ass person. Person. Just want to point out that I said person. Yep. That is. Was, were. It, it, whatever the fuck. Person. You assaulted children. Now you get to go to Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And we're going to put you on the field with fucking apex predators. And you get to defend yourself. The fucking velociraptor. With a stick. Against these apex predators. And if you live, you're pardoned. If you don't, damn. We sure feel bad you know, let's about make the pay-per-view revenue we just fucking made. In let, inshallah. Let's make it fun. Let's put, a, <laughs> let, let, let's put them in there with a, a great white shark. But they have a stick. <laughs> right? And they have to kill this great white shark with a stick. Okay, there's Damn. three points, there, there's five points of entry on a great white shark. You have both <laughs> eyes, you have both gills, and you have the mouth. 
Fuck around and find out. You know the what mouth I mean? is probably the last place you are want to you point that injury. Are you in water or are you on the 50-yard line? You're on the 50-yard line. With the great white shark. With a stick. It's watered. We flooded it. Go, well, either if you, way, if, if it looks like you're going to win, we'll flood it. <laughs> <laughs> we now know from the Coliseum, they were able to flood that. Yeah. They were able to flood it. They were able to fill it with sand. They were able to put terrain in it. Like nice. They just changed it to whatever the fuck they needed for the current combat. So I'm going to go with, you know what? We need to fix the uh, Siberian tiger issue. Fuck yes. Right? Yeah. So endangered species. I think last time I looked, there was something like less than 40 Siberian tigers. Let's shoot them full of fucking testosterone and so, breed the fuck out of them. Fuck, we get the liver king. He comes in. <laughs> he fucking applies fucking testosterone to all the male fucking Siberian tigers. We bring in just as many female Siberian tigers yes. and we go. All day. Did it. Let's go. Right? We make more Siberian tigers. Mm-hmm. And then fuckers like this, we throw them in the ring with Siberian tigers. It'd yeah. be like, here's your stick. Good luck. Stick. You know what? Pry bar. I'm going to give you a pry bar. You No. No. Yeah. No, I'm a stick. sporting gentleman. I am too. I, all right. But they're in there for a reason. Sure. That's here's why I'm going to give you stick. a pry bar. I'm going to give you a pry bar. No, because there's going to be the one ass. No, 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 no. It's Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you get a pry bar <laughs> all right so these are the games brought to you by harbor freight all right so you get a pry bar harbor freight give us money <laughs> no. you know i fucking love harbor freight i fucking love you guys all right can you make we, some of the best toolboxes out there can we sell ad space on the tigers <sighs> yeah oh yeah but it, it's, paint it's painted on yeah. <laughs> you know you know the, like the kentucky derby the no, little it's like the, the little jerseys the yeah. little jerseys that the kentucky derby horses wear yep it's like that it, just as <laughs> harbor freight on the side so you get a pry bar siberian tiger because that's how i viewed it right <laughs> you are a late 20s fully developed human you attacked children cool yeah. you now get a pry bar and I've got a Siberian tiger and I haven't fed it in five days. Yeah. No, I'm in. I'd pay for front row tickets. Right? Yeah. People are paying 600 bucks right now to see Taylor Swift. Oh, I, I'd pay right? more than that to go watch I paid the, I paid the $8 tiger. to watch the last UFC fight at Twin Peaks. That was eight bucks. <laughs> it's because you had to buy a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know the only reason I paid it? I was already drinking and, the, and it started and they said I had to leave like, if I didn't fucking. I was really? like, whatever, <laughs> put the eight bucks on the table. I don't give a fuck. Right? <laughs> so that fucking happens. That's what I'm saying. She's like, you look at like the Roman Empire and its peak before everybody's like, this doesn't do, fucking work. You know what we have to do? Okay. I agree it 100% works. on everything that it you just said. It fucking works. Right. But for the off reason, that's this dude took a Harbor Freight cr crowbar and smoked no, this. No, 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 no. I didn't say crowbar, sir. I said pry bar. Okay. You don't get the hook. You get a shitty okay. plastic handle okay. with a stick <laughs> okay. out of the end of it. It's let's, a pry bar. Let's say this dude takes a Harbor Freight pry bar. There you go. And smokes the Siberian tiger. Pass. No. We pull in the fucking dudes from 300. Round two. And it's like game on, but they have short swords and, and shields and you have that same fucking pry bar. Oh, no. Here, I got it. You ready? Okay. So you have to fight the Siberian tiger. You survive the Siberian tiger. Some fucker like this that went on this killing spree in a fucking school. Yep. It's that many trained soldiers get put in the frame. The amount of people that were in that school? N no, just what you took. Oh, okay. So let's say, I don't know how many they fucking killed. It was six. Three kids, three adults. Cool. Oh, can I pick? Fucking six pipe hitting. Can I pick? Six pipe hitting motherfuckers. I will pay to pick. You could. That's We could American Idol it. Yes. You could fucking tweet in. <laughs> I'm going to pick a bunch of losers. Why? No, no, no. Like Jerry Nadler. And <laughs> like other Fuck people. That guy. Like, no, no, I want this to be fun. I don't care who wins. That's I'm gonna win. Somebody's going to die. Yeah, I'm going to win. <laughs> but however many you took, it's that many pie pit motherfuckers get sent in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to even the if, playing if field. If you survive the tiger. Then you get that many pie pit and bitches okay. coming in. I like it. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Okay. $8 cover. Yeah. We should do this with like pedophiles and rapists too. 
Oh no, we across. That's what I did. We should we should include the people that went on social media and got angry for the shooter being misgendered. We Which, should include oh, those yeah. people but, in there. So I'm still confused. There was. <clears throat> did the shooter have a penis or not? Doesn't matter because yeah. that shooter no, there matter. was no longer existed. Yeah, but. I, I believe it was a female transitioning to a male. I bu- I'm not. Positive I don't on think that, that's because if that's true, very or, very rarely do females. Maybe admit, no. I think no. I'm it's wrong. a t- fucking testosterone, bro. It was. Right? <laughs> I want to kill everybody. All the male time. transitioning to female. Yeah. No. It but, was a male transitioning to yeah. female. Yeah. But yeah, there there are people on social media which I will give. I, I the world has given me a little bit of hope. Because people are pulling these this content and being like, I I I hate you. Like I as a person, I despise yeah. you. And it's insane to me the that real someone question can is, look at something like that and be like, This is wrong. This person deserves no yeah, you defending. get no sympathy yeah. for killing yeah. children. No, no, none whatsoever. You do you're anything f- to a kid, fuck you. When Absolutely. you're fucking dead, your gender doesn't matter. And the well, fact that you attacked children. Here, here's the thing, right? The only the only pronouns I'm giving you are shit and bag. No, that, no, no, that, no. That's all you're fucking getting. 5,000 years from now, somebody digs up that fucking piece of shit's body. Right? They dig it up. And they're like, oh, let's figure out what this human was. And they figure it out. And by DNA, they are one gender. Period. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what they do. Doesn't matter what they claim. Doesn't matter what surgeries they have. Doesn't matter what fucking anything they take. I will probably depart a little bit from my lovely freedom friends. And I love all of you guys. If you made a choice to go be whatever, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. You were a dude that wants to be a chick. Want to be a chick that you were a chick that wants to be a dude. I don't fucking care. I really, I really don't. Because it doesn't have any fucking impact on my life. Yeah, I agree. It changes Fuck all for well, me. Fuck, it, we were going to do a GoFundMe to get you boobs. It's fair. I would have played a little. I, I would have <laughs> let you. So I don't fucking care. I've got friends of mine that are transitioned, like, and they're fucking awesome. Yeah. And I've never once thought you're going to shoot up a school. No, fuck no. So. But being a white male, I'm sure many people have thought. He might go I'm a white male, <laughs> multiple gun owner. I'm sure everybody's yeah. just waiting for the fact that I'm going to go on some fucking spree. Right. But it, I don't, I, I legit, I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care. I don't care if you're a dude that's into dudes. I don't care if you're a chick that's into chicks. I don't care if you're a chick that's into dudes, dudes that's into chicks. You were a chick that's now a dude that's into dudes. I don't. <laughs> and none of it fucking matters. I, it, none I of care. it fucking matters. If you were a piece of shit fucking human. Like you attack children in a school, I'm pretty sure that just falls under the definition of a piece of shit human being. Okay. You deserve whatever the fuck people dish out to you. Yeah. And the only fucking pronoun that I need to fucking maintain for you is dead and thank you. Do you think it goes back to the debate we did a couple of weeks ago? Whereas one thing that, that I, um, people make their identity. Yeah. And and that is it, and that's that's their whole identity for the rest of their life. I but again, I think that comes down to you haven't figured out how to ID yourself. I have a very good friend of mine. I am not going to say their name. It's none of y'all's fucking business. I don't care. They are obviously trans. They are a very good customer of mine. They are fucking awesome. I I love hanging out with them. The conversations I've had with this person are absolutely fantastic. They come from a great family. They are incredibly successful in business. Like they're done everything right. They did what they dug. I have no fucking issue with that. And I never will. It doesn't impart anything on me. It doesn't change my definition of what the fuck I view the world as. Like I dig fucking tits and pussy. I've had the conversation with this person where they also dig tits and pussy. And I'm not going to say which side of the fucking aisle they now land on. Right. We have that in fucking common. We also like a good fucking drink. We like playing weird tabletop shit. Like, we're fucking into it. And that was the end of the fucking conversation. It didn't fucking matter. If they ever said, hey, I'm thinking about going attacking my old fucking high school because I didn't like how it was fucking bullied. I'd personally put the bullet in them. Right. 
That's what it comes down to. But I don't give a fuck if you were a cigar smoking, whiskey drinking, all that there is, man. You told me you were fucking with kids. I'll put the bullet in you too. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Shitty people are fucking shitty people. And as long as whatever decisions you're making about your personal life, you keep fucking personal, we're good to hook. I don't need to fuck around with the rest of it. Yeah. It's none of my fucking business. You don't get to tell me what I'm doing in my life. I don't get to tell you what you're doing in your life. That's called fucking freedom. Now, as soon as you start harming others or mine, now you've made it my business. So full, full circle, we go back to the Romans. It goes back to the Romans. They didn't give a fuck what you did and no. so you started fucking up society. That's it. Now we have a fucking problem. Yeah, you do whatever the, literally whatever the fuck you want, whoever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter. Knock yourself out. But if you do something to our society. And it becomes harmful. Now you have an issue. Harmful, not well, this is kind of my thing. And it's like, well, it's not my thing, but whatever. That's not society. That's your personal fucking opinion. It's when you become harmful to society. That's yeah. when we have a fucking issue. And that's my fucking stance on it. And agree with me or not agree with me. I don't give a fuck. That's my stance on it. Let whoever do whatever the fuck they want to do until they become harmful. Then we have a fucking issue. So Scott, what, what would you want to change? <laughs> I think I said something, but I forget what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really sad we don't have dinosaurs now. That'd be so much fun. It'd be so much fun. I would have a pet dinosaur. Absolutely. Hundred percent dinosaur. Ankylosaurus. It's my favorite dinosaur. Anc- Has been since I was seven what years does that old. Look like Ankylosaurus. Even, pull it up know. so they can see it. A N K. Thank you. L <laughs> Y. <laughs> Ankylosaurus. There you go. Ankly. Oh, look at all those cool pictures. That's yes. just the ass. There you go. Oh, oh that little guy. Ankylosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his tail fucks people up. Yeah. yeah his tail's yeah. got like a fucking war hammer yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. He's covered it, in spikes. It's like a mean turtle. What is this in? Was that the 1964 World Fair? Yeah. Rep- oh, it's a replica. replica. Oh. oh. I was like, no fucking way. That is an Ankylosaurus. <laughs> and I am very pro Ankylosaurus. Yeah. There's it's been my size. favorite dinosaur since oh, I shit you not. I was like seven yep. years old. And if I could have a fucking pet Ankylosaurus. Oh, that'd be so fun. That'd be so fun. It'd be awesome. Just careful turning around. Not my problem. It's like an 18 wheeler. Don't park so close. (laughs) Don't park so close. (laughs) Oh, that'd be fun. Nobody's tailgating you in that. No, none. (laughs) No. (laughs) Ankylosaurus. What, John, favorite dinosaur? Oh, I don't know if I have a favorite. There's a handful that I'd like to have. There's a kid. There's a little kid in you that has your favorite dinosaur. Everybody does. Which would it be? Well, so uh, here's the thing. My pet would kill me. You can't no, have a velociraptor as a pet. I don't. If it, I, if, it, if you had no worry about it killing, it, it was like Kira, but a dinosaur. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Yeah. 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 Is that the one with the spiky things up the back? It is. That is. Yeah. See, every every grown man has their yeah. favorite dinosaur from when they were a fucking kid. Justin, uh, Triceratops. See, yeah. yeah. I just like the big ass shield. Right. I like to. I mean, I've always been a big fan of t-rex but it's mainly and there's the, nothing wrong with but that it's because of their little arms the little tiny arms they're so but if you got them one of those gopher <laughs> grabbers they're little fucking kids, unstoppable it was just like how do they do things like what are they they're just angry and they All bite mouth. everything yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe that's why i like dogs do you, wait, it, do you like malinois <laughs> i do see it, it's, the same fucking <laughs> it's thing. all mouth like I, I but here's the thing i've never owned one don't. I've always made really good friends with people that have them. Don't. No, I know why we'll never own one. Because I've owned multiple. Yeah, I had the opportunity to acquire as many as I wanted, literally. Yeah, there were five of them that were sitting there, and I could have like had my pick. Three months ago. So I had talked to No, this, a, I was up there fucking a, less than a month ago. So, And they were amazing, beautiful, phenomenal When that dogs. litter happened, yeah. I had the opportunity. Yep. And I was in the condo. Yep. And I was like, this isn't fair to the dog. Well, it's the same thing. Like um, my backyard is a pool. But but there's some still <laughs> available. I can't have a map. There's some still available. And she texted me and was like, Yeah. Do you want one? And I was like, No. I went up there. I can't work it. I went up there and literally spent four hours fighting not to take one of them. Like literally, they were like almost loading them in my truck. And I was like, fucking no. How long <laughs> have you guys known me? Yeah. Like, how long have you known me? Oh, fuck, four you years. And, so, in the four years you've known me, how much self-control have you known me to have? Hmm. Well, it depends That's what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question, sir. 
<laughs> okay, outside of my dedication to Caitlin, how much self control have you known me to have? Sixty forty. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know how much it took for me to tell her? No, I don't want the dog. Forty sixty. It, it, it was. It, it was forty percent no, and sixty percent kicking yourself in the ass. Oh for a while God, afterwards. I wanted the dog so yeah. bad. No, I know. And then, like now that I've seen them when they're like eight, ten months old, and you see what like the potential that these fucking animals have. But I don't have a. I don't. I. It's not. I have the space, and I have the knowledge. Which I, is one of the reasons she reached out to me was that she knows I know how yes. to handle that dog. I, I know I just don't have the space for it. I know, I don't have the bandwidth. I know your space. Yep. And for these specific I, dogs, I can't do it. I don't think that's enough space. So I don't have time or patience in my so no, that's right now the, for any puppy. Look, these I guys, know what they need, regardless. And these, I don't have it for yeah, what they need, those, and that's why I said no. Those mouths are fucking on point. I know. And I wanted one. Trust I did me. Too. I want one. <laughs> and it's a struggle because mm-hmm. I have her number and mm-hmm. I know I could text her. And the next day I could have one. Yeah. And yeah. Any other that want a mal, fucking reach out. Uh, okay. You're no, fucking no, no. serious. You reach out and I want to see a fucking resume yeah. on why we'll, the fuck you're allowed we'll to have a mal. We'll before we put you in contact. Because they're next level. Yeah. They're, but they have, I think they have four males and three females. Now look, three females right now. You will never own a dog like a Mal. You won't. I don't give a fuck. You'll be like, well, I had a dog. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever you think you've ever had, you've never had anything like that dog. However, this is like that job you had that paid you way, f- way above what you thought you should earn. And I've then you found out the one. work that comes with it. I know, right? <laughs> and then you find out the work that comes with it. That's a mal. So unless you so literally- I had the opposite. I had a job that expected a fuckload out of me and I didn't get paid dick for it. Yeah. It's called the army. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking basset hound, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, and now tired. Every, everybody I'm on the mic in front of your door. <laughs> everybody on the mics right now is self-employed. So now it's a hey. Do you want six times the work for a third of the pay? Yeah. Like, do you want to do the same thing you've been doing? But, but not get paid? Yeah, but not get paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know the joys of self-employment? I just talked to my tax guy, right? And my tax guy goes, hey, I see on here that you've been pulling a salary. I was like, yeah. And according to labor laws, it's the minimum that you can pay somebody on salary. Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, you can't do that. I was like, what? He was like, you can't do that. Oh, because of the way your tax structure is. Uh, Because of my court, my current corporate structure. He's like, you can't do that. You cannot. He's like, now you have made so little. The IRS isn't going to care, but we have to flip this over. Because they're classified as guaranteed payments right now. And it was like, okay, so what are we going to do? He's like, you're going to have made no money. Just so you know. Just so the amount of work that you have now put in, mm-hmm. your tax return is going to show that you've made no money, that your entire lifestyle is supported off your wife's salary. And I was like, I'm this close to the goal. <laughs> 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 yeah. If my wife could make just a little bit more, I would just be a house husband. Right. And I wouldn't do any like, of this I could shit. be a kept man. Yeah. I could. And I she, could do it. She's just shy. I yeah. mean, just chat. Do, do you guys remember that show? I think it literally, I think it was called The Kept Man. And it was a British show. And it was like these fucking oligarchs that their husband passed away and they were just fucking generational fuck you money. Um, And like the women were like in their 50s, 60s and 70s and lived in like castles. And they had all these like bachelor dudes so, show up to just be this kept man that didn't do. I'm going to one up that and get nerdy with it. Okay. So there is a show on Netflix that you can watch called the way of the house husband. <laughs> 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 and this dude used to be Yakuza. Oh, fuck. Yes. So he is He's just a badass. So, but here's the deal. So it's the, the Kusa, like Yakuza Japanese level discipline. Yeah. 
but the wife makes all the money. Oh. And so he is just the house husband. And so it is this like shinobi level discipline of like cleaning and cooking and shit. <laughs> and I watch it periodically. There it is. Like, I feel like that's the only fan. So life. it's the way of the house husband. And I'm going to tell you right now, if my wife ever gets to that earning status where it's like, so you need me to make sure the house is clean and you have a warm meal when the, you come home. Your bushes out front need to be like extremely fucking pruned. Dude, I'm in. You could bring I feel a like fucking that was some weird sexual thing. You could bring a, <laughs> you could bring a square out to my box shrubs and be like, Jesus. And I'd shut everything down. That would be the life. A hundred percent. If I didn't have to do it, I so that's the level of pride I have. I would 100% just run the household and let my wife make all the fucking money. I have no desire to actually be this like, I solve this shit. I'd be like, nope, she makes fucking fat stacks. Right. Like, and I that's, mop a hell like, of a floor. That's like every OnlyFans husband, right? <laughs> Someone's got to hold the camera. Yeah, that's true. No, I'm fucking here for it. But. Like, can I watch today? Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> you know for fucking some of the money that those fucking girls are making like i'd hold a camera i'd hold a camera you know yeah. what i mean like you're making 100 g's a month I'll 100 g's pictures. a month i'd let scott fuck my wife are you fucking kidding me <laughs> but you don't even need to <laughs> jesus you don't even need to that's it's the thing. mainly because i can make eye contact with scott the whole time that's the it just make it weird <laughs> yeah it's not weird it's just that i have a i have a serious man crush on you're scott. just gonna do like the monkey thing like he's yeah. just going to town and you're just like Whoop. by 2020 <laughs> <laughs> by 2025 buddy me and you were starting in the shower like that's just <laughs> i'm ready of goals I fucking <laughs> time stamp this motherfucker right now <laughs> i'm just one, i'm just wondering when i have to 22 we have oh, fuck. fucking a year and a half god damn it you <laughs> and y'all are starting in the show you could have put that out a little later like 2023 is the year of honesty man i'm just trying to trying to expose myself to you <laughs> all right <laughs> I'd say you have to buy me a drink first, but that's a given. Done. What do you what do you like? <laughs> you a know. bottle of what? Yeah. <laughs> How about you, fuck whiskey? <laughs> you know, I think that calls for like E.H. Taylor. You know what? You need to get a bottle of fucking Pappy. No, hashtag Buffy Trace. <laughs> hashtag Buffy Trace. <laughs> fuck Pappy. Jesus Christ. Pay the bills. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know if this is brought to you today or not by warfightertobacco.com, but if you go to that website, use that code FTFO, score yourself a sweet 15% off. Uh, check out awellness.us for all your CBD needs. Uh, use that code FreedomFriends25, score yourself a quarter off your order. Icy Tech Coolers, for those who get it, uh, Freedom Friends 10 gets you 10% off that big ass cooler to hide two and a half hookers in it. And grillyourassoff.com slash Freedom Friends Podcast. And you get 15% off all the shit you want to rub on your meat. Mm -hmm. You're 15% off, Scott? Sure. What? Huh? What? You're Did too I easy. I want that. Buffy Trace, bro. Hashtag. Sold. <laughs> Put me down for three bottles that night. <laughs> he only needs about one. <laughs> I only need one. I want three. <laughs> it's one for before and two for after. That's the <laughs> if that first first shot's not going to get the taste out of the mouth, the two bottles aren't. <laughs> anything about a mouth? Well, I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's wrap this one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, tell your mom. Tell your friends. <laughs> tell your fucking mom's friends. There's a mediocre to never listen to this fucking show. <laughs> There's uh. a horrible podcast with fucking <laughs> today is three douchebag hosts that are no, just don't. Cheers. Smoke on, drink on, freedom the fuck on. Peace.